Ride around in a bucket. Bucket. Quarter tank and I'm hustling. Puppet. Irresponsible and she love it. All gas, no I'm a Chuck T sportin', bad bitch courtin', never leave a short motherfucker, yeah, I'm a real good rapper. Okay, so I don't know if I told you, I recorded a video yesterday and she got a crush. Oh. Well, she got a valentine. Hmm. I know, but she was supposed to be in single error. That's why it was like a big deal for me. Because she was the one that made it a big deal. Like, oh, I can be single. I don't have to be with someone. And it's like, not that long after you ended your relationship. And boom. Oh, and she said, I love you. Already? Like, well, in the um, video, she was like, yeah, I love you. You know I love you or something to that effect. And I was like, I was like, I hope this isn't the first time she's hearing that you love her. And it kind of seemed like not genuine because it was like she got a gift. Like um, her crush, her Valentine sent her like a Lego, a Batman Lego uh, that cost hundreds of dollars. Damn. I felt like she dry bagged for it. You know how like you go... Oh, I really want that, but it's so expensive. I can't afford it. And then someone goes, well, I'll get it for you. Yeah. That's kind of like what it was. I felt like she was more excited for the gift than the person a little bit. Mm -hmm. And the I love you came along like, I love you. Thanks for giving me that, you know, da, da, da. It just didn't seem, you know, like, uh, like, would you love her the same if she hadn't got it? Right. That's all. So I just wanted to give you that background before we jump into this video. All right, let's go. Hello, hello. It is your favorite dainty 500 pound girly pop. And welcome to my new weigh in video. You know what? I just cannot stand the dainty part. You will never get that off of me. Dainty at 500, how? Imagine a cow saying, I'm dainty. Oh, oh you doing a weigh in today? I thought it was supposed to. Oh, well, no, wait. I'm stupid. Today is Wednesday. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. And if you don't have a Valentine's, I'll be your Valentine. The hell? Well, not in real life, but like virtually. I'll be your virtual Valentine. Wow. I care about you. I care about the world. You guys are about to be shook. So today is February 14th, Wednesday, Valentine's Day. So happy Valentine's Day. That is why we are wearing some pink earrings. That is why we have a heart here. So I was debating between these earrings. Girl, I would have never noticed that heart in life. I would have just thought you had a mole. I'm just being yeah, honest. It just look like a dot. I would have never noticed it. Your outfit for yesterday's video, the unboxing video, was more Valentine-esque. Mm -hmm. Had more of the Valentine. It was a sweater with like little hearts all over it. It was uh, nice. She looked good in it. It was just, it seemed more appropriate. This seems like Got just it. another Tuesday, just another Wednesday. Gothic type. I well, like that you know, that's just kind of like Amberlynn. Yeah. Actually, my Barbie earrings, but I don't know. I chose these. So anyways, happy freaking Valentine's Day. I hope that you guys are having an amazing day. I personally am. So I want to start off this video by saying I'm sorry there was no what I ate today on Friday. I just thought it would have been the most pointless video in the whole world. It probably would have been one minute long. And you will find out why later on in this video, why I actually did not upload one. But I will say right now that I am sorry for not like being more communicative. Is that a word? I'm just sorry for not like letting you guys know like, hey, there's not going to be a video on Friday. I will try to get better at that. No, you won't. You have been saying that you're going to get better with your communication and your consistency for years. Years, literally over a decade at this point. You are who you are. Just stop making me false promises. Don't sell me a dream. <laughs> it's just, it, it only sucks because this is your job. Literally, this is all you do. This is your main job. You don't have any kids. You have, I believe, an animal or some animals. I know she has Twinkie. But like, come on. So before we get to my weigh-in and what I've been doing this week, etc., etc., we're going to answer the three questions that you guys asked me. So the first question is, what diet has made you feel the best physically? I was only a vegan for probably less than a week, maybe seven days, so maybe a week. I don't know. It was somewhere around there. It was not long at all, but I just remember feeling 
literally physically the best. I was lighter on my feet. That is the biggest amount of bullshit I've ever heard. How can you, there's no way you felt the impact after a week. Absolutely no way. Like psychologically, it may have made you feel better. Like, oh, I'm not eating meat. This is fantastic for the environment. And long term, this will give me some health benefits. But let's be honest. Like, come on. Literally felt like a feather just floating through the world. Like <laughs> it made me feel really, really good. But I wasn't eating the healthiest. Oh, look, like, she has my first meals in the day were super healthy. I was eating like carrots and I'm over here like debating how many animals she has as there's a cat looking itself in the background oh, of the yeah. video. <laughs> I didn't even catch it. Yeah, I'm like, I know she has Twinkie and clearly there's a cat. I forget the cat's name. And things like that. And then after work, I would go home because this was years ago. This is when I was actually a PCA worker. I would go home and I would have tons of white rice and beans and Fritos because Fritos are vegan. And then I would like literally. Do you see the bullshit here? Being vegan was the best. You felt the best. Black beans, rice, and Fritos. Yeah. Come on, girl. Yeah. I mean, technically it's vegan, but that's still not. Right. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong. You can eat carbs because I feel like everyone's on this keto, low carb thing. And it does have health benefits for some people. But if you eat um, healthy carbs, whole carbs yeah. in their natural state in a healthy, moderate diet, you can have carbs. You just eat like you eat rice with chips. Like, uh. you know, Fritos. Yeah, let's like let's do this. Do a fourth a cup of rice, a fourth a cup of beans, and like one serving, like a real follow the bag serving. Yeah, and that'd be better. I know that's not what you did. If you have to have it, like if you have to. On Oreos, but I think something about taking Oreos. out all of the animal products. Oreos um, are technically vegan. Man, get the fuck out of here. Look, y'all are not going to do this bullshit. Y'all are not going to do this bullshit to me. I mean, it is, though. It, it is. It is. Now. Crack, how, crack how is vegan. Is, crack you eat crack is, is vegan, things. too. And some people do it. You know what? But it's not healthy. And you're not going to sell me that dream. Like, you're no. not going to get online and talk about some, oh, I felt the best when I was vegan. I'm dainty. And I felt the best when I was vegan and all that bullshit. And you eating up Fritos with fucking Oreos. Get the I'm just stuck on a Frito. Who the fuck eats regular Fritos? Some people like them. Yeah. Made me feel better. But I am not a vegan girly pop. It's never going to happen. But regardless, it made me feel physically the best. So the second question is, how do you feel about the success of Tammy Slayton? So I really wanted to choose this question because I feel like people compare us a lot. That's kind of just something that happens on the internet. Like, all... I'm going to be honest. I kind of get why they compare you. I mean, honestly speaking, you two, Tammy struggled so hard with her weight loss journey. Like she struggled for years, much like yourself, but eventually she did it and you just haven't. Like you haven't. Like you were going to get weight loss surgery. You stopped. Like, come on, you let that go. You were eating on what jelly jelly bellies in your last video. Damn, jelly bellies. What the hell is that? Jelly beans. Oh, oh. Like there were different flavor ones. Like I remember there was like a matcha one. And she said she's not a matcha girly, but she really liked it. Hmm. But I mean it's sugar. It's sugar with a flavoring and yeah. like some color. Like, get the fuck. She's talking about it's not gonna hinder my weight loss journey. Like her and then Foodie Booty out there. I'm sorry, Everyday Miriam's out there in the desert <laughs> eating fucking um, gelato. Talking about some, it's healthy in moderation. Yes, but you don't moderate. Yeah. You don't moderate. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Play. Girls get compared and that's fine. I get it. But what I feel about her success is happiness. I feel inspired. She motivates me. Just, it's not even just success within like her weight. It's just, like, success within, like, who she is as a person. Like, I... Wow, really? Because, like, when you watch her online, she looks like a terrible person. Like, how she treats her friends, family, etc. But let's be honest. You were on YouTube way before anyone ever knew who the Slayton sisters were, my 1,000 pounds sister, all that. You were supposed to be their inspiration. 
always liked Tammy. Years and years and years ago, you might have heard, you know, troll in, throw like a shade here and there, but it was never like true authentic how I felt about her. I've always liked Amy. I've always liked Tammy. When I see someone, regardless of who it is, when I see them lose hundreds of pounds, when I see people improve themselves in any sort of way, when I see just success in any way, like I'm genuinely happy for the person. It's just like seeing Tammy grow and improve in like every single way while also going through the death of her husband. Like it just is very empowering and I am just in so much support of her. It's insane. A lot of people think that I'm like jealous of her. No, I'm looking at what she's doing and I'm like, damn, I can do that too. She is showing that if she can do it, anyone can do it. Okay, so the third question is, what does your Valentine slash crush think of your size? So it seems like every single time I'm in a relationship, this question is like always a question that is asked, which I get it. I understand because it's a thought that I actually have internally, subconsciously, consciously. I'm aware of the thought. Sometimes I'm not aware of the thought. It's a thought that is always you know what? Sometimes I just feel like she's spewing out words. Yeah. I don't know. It could just be me. So I can understand why other people also think it. But I can safely say in every relationship that I have ever been in, their answers are always the exact same. It's very, I don't see you for your size. I think you are beautiful. You have an amazing personality. Which is code for you're ugly. Damn. That is cold for your fucking ugly. Hey, you need to lose weight. Case all, all the time. Like, listen, we grew up in the United States. When someone says, oh, my daughter has a beautiful personality, it typically means put a bag over the face. Like, I don't really care because I always believe in dating people for character because looks change, people age. We can make you look better. Yeah. You can lose weight. You can throw on makeup. Or I might genuinely just be attracted to how you look. But when everyone is telling you the same thing, like, stop the cap. And that's exactly what my Valentine said this year. She says that she doesn't see me for my size. I'm beautiful. We always have really good conversation, like, no matter what we're talking about. She thinks I'm funny. Like, she finds me physically attractive. Just my size isn't something that she sees. And trust me, I get it. It's, it's a weird thing because it's like how are you do you not see my size like it's it's confusing to me and it's always the same answer from every partner i've been with i almost want to say maybe to an extent i understand because it's like when i'm in a relationship with someone i don't see their flaws i don't see them for their flaw i don't stop loving them for their flaw or whatever it may be or something that they're super insecure about so it's like maybe in the same way that's the way they view me is like I don't see you for that flaw. I don't see you for that thing that you're insecure about. I don't know, but regardless, my Valentine says that I'm beautiful inside and out and that makes me really happy. I think genuinely there are just really amazing people out there who aren't shallow and that do see people beyond their weight and their size, et cetera, et cetera. But since I am my own worst enemy, sometimes it's hard to believe that, but I have to believe it because I have been in multiple multiple relationships where people really do prove to me like i don't see you for your weight i see you for so much more than that okay girly pops it is time for my weigh-in but last week i was 515.0 and that was after spending time with some friends that came down for like five to six days and yeah but you gained like six pounds in those five to six days though like i mean that's like a pound a day yeah. Like, uh, if that was me, I'm, look, friends, I love you. I'm about to love you from a distance. Because if I'm gaining a pound a day every time I see my... Nah. I love my progress too much. We, but we, what? You gotta, she gotta be what? disciplined, though. Can't put all that on the friends. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not putting it on the friends. What I'm saying is like... If I can't control myself around you, uh, if I yeah. want to lose all my inhibitions and just be in the moment right. when I'm on a weight loss journey, I can't do that. Especially when I'm 500 pounds. Yeah. 
and I've been this big for over a decade? Like, no. Because, like, in that video, she said some bullshit about YOLO. And I was just kind of like, girl, nah, nah, no. You don't get to say YOLO. I ate more than usual, walked more than usual, which I swell a lot when I walk a lot, especially like when I'm in a car a lot, which I was doing that. Oh my God. It's like classic my 600 pound life. Yeah. It, it's water weight. I'm swollen. Don't get me wrong. I know that that can be like a thing, especially because she suffers with like lymphedema. Mm. But like... Only so much water. Right. Like, doctor now. You're not 700 pounds of water. <laughs> I was also drinking my calories like it was just a lot of different things and I gained some weight so last week 515.0 and today here's my weight it is Valentine's Day February 14th so happy Valentine's I'm not gonna lie this is the part that always grinds my gears like always that? she never shows herself when she does weigh-ins uh, Even though everyone always speculates that it's false, it's not real, she never shows herself. And, like, don't get me wrong, if you don't want to show your full body, you can at least show your feet or something, but just to silence the haters, the speculation. Yeah. I don't know. All right, let's play. Hey, so I got a little sneak peek. I stepped on the scale yesterday, and y'all are about to be shocked. So I hope you're ready for it. Hello, it's ready. Okay, stepping on. 501.2 Shut the fuck up. So you trying to tell me you lost, what, 14 pounds? And how long a week? And what the fuck were you doing? Write that book, ma'am. If it's true, no, I'm playing. She's so big that it is possible for her to lose that much weight if she's doing the right thing, but... Yeah. It's just kind of drastic, but... Yeah, that's 15, well, 14, 14 pounds. pounds. 501.2. Oh, and the haters are going to say that it's not real. And I am so excited to know that it is. What? Okay. A lot of you are probably super confused. Like, what is happening? Let me explain. Not only is my mental health right now at the peak that it's been in a very long time, I feel happy. I feel hopeful. I feel motivated. Well, new love will do that for you, boo boo. Just make sure that, like, you'll be okay if this new person goes away, too. That's all. And I said, you know what? I'm going to get my shit together. Like, I need to get my shit together. So I went back to something that is what works for me. I'm only eating about once or twice a day. So I know that's like, whoa, that's crazy but i feel good when I it's not crazy there's a whole community that does this it's called omad for the once a day mm. like intermittent fasting yeah, that's what i was thinking intermittent it, fasting. it is a thing people do this amberlyn reed and i know that people have suggested this to you for years <laughs> no for real. people have suggested in the comments keto intermittent fasting omad for years. Uh, Sometimes people gotta come around on their own. Don't give her credit. This is a cycle. She loses weight. She gains. It's been a decade. Damn. She started this channel as, I'm gonna lose weight. And I'm really gonna try. And we're here. We're fucking here. <laughs> that, every time I ate, though, it was a takeout meal. So, like, an example. Right. If I wanted seafood boil... I said, you know what? I'm going to get a seafood boil. I'm going to allow myself to have this meal. I'm going to enjoy it. But that's all I'm going to eat for the day. And I thoroughly, physically, and mentally feel good doing that. I did go grocery shopping yesterday, though, because I know that I can't be eating takeout every single day, even if it is just one meal. So my goal for this week is I'm going to cook daily. 
even if it's just one meal. I just really love to be the queen of moderation. What can I say? So it's like, if I want to order takeout, I want to allow myself to do those things, especially right now, because if I just cold turkey said, no more takeout, uh, no more. Which is fine, but you can't cook. But you know what? You like your food. You like your food, so that's fine. of the foods that you enjoy, then I'm going to fail. I have done that repeatedly. It truly seems like I lose the most weight when I do this, when I just eat once or twice a day. It is freaking crazy. It makes the most sense, I know. Like it's not crazy. It's called a caloric deficit. It's how weight loss works, sweetie. The only person that doesn't seem to understand that is you and all those people on my 600 pound life. Yeah, they be beefing with Dr. Now, like, no, it's this, this. I know what's going on. You're consuming too many calories, girl. So, of course, when you do the OMAD or the twice a day, you're going to lose weight. It makes sense. Now, don't get me wrong. It is possible to consume way more calories than one meal. So, it is about moderation and calorie deficit restrictions. Obviously, because I'm eating less. Because if you guys remember, I think it was back in September where I lost like 30 pounds in a month and it's because I was doing that. I was eating only once or twice a day and I felt so good. But then my mental health got really, really bad and I started eating more again and then I gained the weight back and then I haven't been able to get back to that. Yeah, and with someone like you, you really have to prioritize your mental health because when you get off the train, honey... It is downhill mm. and it's dangerous because you are so heavy. Yeah. It's like, okay, if you were like, I don't know, I don't like, let's say you were like, I don't know, in a healthy weight range. Let's say you were like 120, 130, 140. I'm not saying it would be good to gain 20 pounds, but it's not the same as someone that's 500 pounds gaining 20, 30 pounds. Right. It wouldn't be that. Right, because it's just so, because you're already like at the edge and then you're just tipping yourself over. And then here I am back to that again. And I just, I don't want it to stop now because I feel so freaking good. But that goes back to what I was saying. Like if I did a what I ate today and I only ate one meal, what type of video is that? I mean, I could have turned it into like a eat with- What are you talking about? People do that type of content. Like, there's literally this guy I follow. I don't know what his name is. But anyways, he literally films his once-a-day meals. Booming on YouTube. All the views. And you already have hundreds of thousands of subscribers. Girlfriend, do it. We would, I would watch it. I mean, especially when you compare it to the no content you're doing. Situation, but I was afraid of what you guys would think of that. And I, I know, I already know the comments. If I would have said, hey guys, this is the only thing I'm eating today. I'm going to film and eat with me. I already know what everyone would have said. They would have been like, oh my God, this is a mukbang. Your mukbang era is back. Oh my God, she has no money. Oh my God, look at her eat on camera. Oh my God, she's so off track. Oh my God, she's lying. I just didn't want to put myself through that. But now that I've explained myself. Since when do you care what people say? I mean, pick a side. A little bit more, if you guys do see and eat with me in the future that is also like, hey, this is what I ate today. That is the reason why. So I don't know, folks, I feel good. I hope you guys are feeling good. I am literally almost in the 400s and I am so excited to just finally say goodbye to the 500s. So next week, you guys, you might be seeing this here, this here uh, dainty girly pop, uh, hopefully with a four instead of a five in front of her number because I'm over it. Anyways, I love you guys. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Look, you can miss me. Like, I'll, I'll believe when you're in the twos, you know, because you've just never been that consistent for me. But anyway, like, comment, and subscribe. Woo! Yeah, ride around in a bucket. Bucket. Quarter tank and I'm hustling. Up it, irresponsible and she love it. All gas, no brakes. And I'll go back, try to hold it. Uh, I'm a Chuck T's boy.